So people might get pissed off at this video, but I just, I don't know. I'm getting sick of people putting out videos, you know, claiming to be researchers, but this guy honestly like titles this video. His videos have been pissing me off just in general because he's pushing this whole thing as like a one-sided thing. And just, it took me back that his name just happened to be David Seaman. And I've done the Gematria on it. I've done decoding on this guy. And all these people are in hysteria over this whole thing. All the pictures, all the connections. What's so funny is some of these leading researchers leading the way on this and, and in some of these media plugs in Washington and whatnot, I really, you know, they came out with some videos on their credibility. He's a researcher on Bitcoin and claims he, you know, in, does in-depth research on the media and whatnot. I mean, is this guy clueless? How could you, how could you even label something like this if you claim to be a researcher? Like he's still pushing two-sided duality as if it's the Obama administration that muzzles uh, the CIA and the NSA. Like, they run the show. Like, are you fucking kidding me? It does, it's regardless of the president in office. If this guy can't see through the duality, I just assume that this guy is either completely clueless or just pushing one-sided propaganda on this whole thing, spinning this reality just because it's a psyop. It's a psyop just to push push one side over the edge. And the way he talks, the way this guy seems to be like reading from a script and playing on emotions, basically. I'll play it and I'll touch on why I think, you know, he's clueless, claims to be a researcher, but he's he's questioning the authenticity of CIA and NSA if they're not able to whistleblow on these things like you know get with the picture buddy everybody's involved that's why even if this Pizzagate thing is remotely real which I don't think it is I think it's a narrative guising this type of behavior that goes on but they if if this is going to reach the surface it's going to reach a surface in the way they want it and this is that scripted narrative this guy is just playing into the emotions. He's like gathering up people and starting this like pitchfork witch hunt, which this is just out of control what this guy is like claiming and and he just seems clueless to me the way he speaks. So something that hey everybody. So something that some researchers are starting to bring up that I hadn't even really thought about. Uh, because it's kind of a uh, degree of separation away from the main story. So he hasn't even thought about this, which if you're not thinking outside of the box, like from the get go, you're not a researcher. You're just viewing this from one fucking side. Like literally shut the fuck up. I don't know who this shill is. I think he's a shill or he's just that clueless and he's performing what I told you guys before. It's like grassroots marketing. He, he is literally so delirious and he's pushing this this thing like is he new to research does he understand that there's like pre-packaged hoax news that's been going on it's been a phenomenon in the media and that the media is practically fake and that yes even though this plays in the media's favor for this thing to be fake maybe they're just playing reverse psychology and getting everyone to believe that we gotta go we gotta pitchfork on witch hunt this thing trust me the information is out there. If it's credible information, the people are piecing it together and trying to do what they can with it. What is you going on YouTube and like causing people playing on people's emotion? This guy isn't directly making threats. No, and he's not, he's telling people not to, but every single one of these channels that's covering this is playing on emotions and being like, Oh, it's just fucked up. Kids are probably getting fucking tortured right now. And this and that. And it's like, come the fuck on, man. Don't get involved with channels that are doing this because it's all part of the PSYOP. It's just control through emotions. And listen to this guy. How is he this clueless? Story. Uh, something that researchers are starting to say. What researchers? How is it possible that for the last eight years, 
our Central Intelligence Agency and our National Security Agency, the CIA and the NSA, how is it possible that given the vast surveillance tools they have, uh, the vast electronic surveillance, the NSA... Before he finishes, it's not possible. It's not possible that they can have all these things and not know what's going on. So exactly, you're like, you're realizing you're coming to this revelation while you're doing the research that it's useless to do this. This is just a fucking psyop meant to make people that research. This guy is just breaking, breaking the truth movement in half. And I, if you want to see more decoding, I'm going to leave a link to my other channel that's going to do decoding because people said that it's like they, they didn't like my other videos on that shit. And I'll keep it separate on there. But this guy I've been decoding. And for people to get all hysterical about the connections that are being made between the people and this and that. Did anybody run Gematria on this guy's name? Did anybody do any decoding on him? Did anybody look on his involvement in it? Like, does he have any correlations? Either there's some extreme cases of mystical synchronicity here. Or... This guy is just as involved and in, in coded in, in the numbers as this as they all are because he's fucking an operative. He's like a Mossad operative. David. David. Da he's here to make a divide. David. David. Divide. It's pretty simple when you see this shit if you don't involve your emotions. This guy is so corny. I can't even believe people are like running into it. He's got orange on. This would be typical shit that people would be like, <gasps> Do you see, see the code, the code? Like, who is this guy? You should read some of his tweets. They're laughable. He's saying that he was out in public. He shook somebody's hand that commented on a YouTube video. And he was saying, I normally don't get comments on my YouTube video. My heart rate is getting accelerated. I think I might be dying. Like, who is this guy and what are these theatrics? It's the same shit as Julian Assange. Like, everybody acts like they, they're headhunting this dude. If they wanted Assange dead, he would be dead. If they wanted this guy dead, he would be dead. If they wanted this story not to reach the surface, it would not reach the surface. This is not it leaking out and, and something that should be, like, we, we should all come to the forefront with this. This is a joke. This is meant to push buttons and get people all twisted, destroy the truth community once again, and get people all up in a tizzy. This guy is just working with emotional response. He's a paid co-intel dude. He, his, I'll show you. There's like a marketing team behind his fucking videos. He's got, it's just garbage, dude. I can't believe that people are even falling for this shit. All the government programs are compromised. Who is this guy and why is he late to finding this out? Yes, that's the case. Everybody, both Republicans, Democrats, Hollywood, everybody's involved with this. Money controls all the whole system. It's over government. Banking cabals supersede governments. So what is this fucking idiot even talking about? The, the Obama administration clamped down on pedophilia uh, information so that it didn't reach the mainstream. Like, pedophilia has been a known thing. So do you honestly believe some stupid narrative that just seems so too good to be true? Is this like holy grail and bringing all this, these Satanists to like to justice? I don't think so, dude. I think as a researcher who claims he's pretty intelligent, you should be able to see out of the box here if you are, in fact, a true truther or researcher. <laughs> what, you know, I don't understand what's going on here. How could, how could anybody even follow this guy if he's so party-affiliated, too? How is it at all possible that for the past eight years, uh, high-ranking politicians have been discussing child torture and child trafficking and satanic rituals have they been or has it just been coded and you're just speculating because that's mainly what this all is is speculation and for there to be that many emails yeah it's a little weird but it could just be all thirty-three thousand crafted emails i mean everybody's forgetting the number of emails it was they're forgetting that we said that it was all a fake thing anyway 
now all of a sudden it's real when 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 it works in our favor I, I i never believe the email leaks at all why is anything that makes the mainstream circuit real it's not real at all assange is a fucking disinfo piece of shit that everybody latched onto because they think he's a hero and they're doing the same thing with this this guy might be like the next assange he's he he says that he was outing the nsa and people spying the government spying on people before snowden did years before and he was he was thought to be crazy it's like dude you are you have been spied on people have known that forever well wow you're proving it through data like and snowden's proving it through data who gives a shit these people are proving that they're trying to prove something with data that could just be he's he this guy does a lot of swallowing too for how confident he is trafficking and satanic rituals uh, over, over their, their Gmail, Gmail accounts. And over yeah, their, their Gmail accounts, which everybody knows to be so easily hacked. So they're just talking about these satanic rings that... Like, are you kidding, dude? Email accounts. How is it at all possible, especially when they're sharing images of significantly underage children... Doing what? Doing what? Nothing is illegal in those images. Nothing's illegal. So they don't have a case. If they're so adamant on getting these people arrested and building a case why don't you talk to a lawyer and see what they have for evidence does this guy understand law i don't think you can convict people on the stuff that's that's been presented to us in such an orderly fashion it's like almost funny at this point but the nsa does not know about this they do know about it the nsa has people who are involved in pedophilia the cia has people involved in pedophilia like, do you understand, like, how big of a thing this would be? Nothing of this, like, this is going to reach the surface. Unless it's a stupid narrative like this to do another thing other than a jail a bunch of pedophilia uh, rings. They're not going to do that. They're going to censor it. It's going to be the opposite of what people think always. Just like it's opposite of what this election result was. This PSYOP is opposite of what people think. People think it's real when it's actually fake. Now, uh, as somebody who knows, as a civilian who knows a little bit about the American intelligence community, I'm starting to wonder about that myself because... Uh, really? You're just starting to wonder if the intelligence community is compromised? Like, dude, learn to think outside the box a little more. I'm going to keep questioning you as not being... Who is this guy? Who is this guy? I'm going to keep questioning this guy. If he's if he's just coming to the realization that the CIA may be compromised, I'm sorry, but if people are pissed off at me like questioning this guy, I really don't care. Who why who is this guy? I, I you know, it's not just this video that got me bent. He's playing on emotions and he just came out of nowhere. Nobody nobody wants to tie him in in the intricacies and the numbers I'll, I'll, you know, I'll show it. I'll lay it out. I'll show people, and people will still be in denial. Links in, in the description.